uh, we'll ask to get out to 4 o'clock, even though the program says I'm speaking for an hour, no way. <laughs> More like just a couple minutes. So I want to thank the audience. I want to thank the speakers. Um, I think this is a really terrific discussion, particularly of areas of uh, culture, like poetry and fashion, that we don't often talk about. I think, Kirby, you were the perfect closing speaker, and I love what you just said. I love com creative comments, too, but I think people don't realize that it's nice, but it's, the laws have to change. I mean, I just, that was my final tweet of many today. Um, and that's what public knowledge is about. We're about changing the law and, and changing the public debate around why copyright laws are too strong, about why the internet needs to be open. Uh, so that's why we're here, and we really, really appreciate your support. I think you know people know us as an advocacy group, as rabble rousers, bomb throwers, whatever you want to call us. Uh, but we also do a lot of these conferences, white papers. Uh, we've got a conference on Spectrum coming up later this month. We've done white papers recently on the future of video, on data caps. If you don't know what data caps are, go ask Mr. Weinberg over there. There are limits on the amount of data you could use and you use your wireless phone and your internet connection, and uh, you think they're really, really problematic for the future of video creativity because people will be watching the meter uh, instead of watching their video, and if you use too much data, you could get kicked off your internet connection, you could uh, get overage charges of hundreds or even thousands of dollars, so these are really, really important sort of future topics uh, that we're talking about, and I, I hope folks will to <clears throat> keep their eyes out uh, for more of these conferences. But we'll continue our advocacy. That's never going to stop. We're going to continue uh, to be the, the thorn in the side of the big publishers, of the big telcos, and, and a voice for consumers. I do want to bring one thing to folks' attention. I really don't know why <clears throat> I have such a sore throat since all I've been doing is tweeting all day and not talking. But I mean, we, you know, the Sofa Pippa debate was a it was a great debate. It was amazing to see so many people and companies and, and others rise up. And it's, it's known in Washington it's a lot easier to block something bad than it is to get something done. And others' response in the wake of Sofa Pippa was, what can we block next? What can we kill next? Who can we make miserable next? Well, we're taking a little different approach. We actually want to see if we can pass those change the laws and make some affirmative change to copyright. So we launched something about a month ago called the Internet Blueprint. And it is a six, five or six, I forget, or many more, because you can make your own suggestions, a legislative suggestions for bringing balance back to copyright, including shortening copyright terms, which, yay, uh, uh, making it legal to circumvent uh, digital protection measures for lawful uses, something that the Digital Millennium Copyright Act prevents. Uh, there's other issues around transparency in uh, trade agreements, which is a huge problem for us with regard to ACTA, the Encounter Free Trade Agreement, and the new Trans Pacific Partnership Agreement. So I really urge folks on the webcast and also here uh, to look at the Internet Blueprint. Vote for your favorite legislative solutions. Suggest your own. Uh, and these are something, again, because Silver Pippa went down in such enormous flames, there are people on Capitol Hill who wouldn't have talked to us seven, eight months ago, we're now saying, what can I do? What can I do to make you know, uh, the tech community and the public interest community happy? So we have an opportunity here, and, and I'd rather, and this is not to, to discourage people from saying, you know, throwing brick bats and tomatoes at, at bills we don't like, but let's start to talk about things we do like and making affirmative change. So Kirby, thank you so much for giving me that opening. Have a great weekend, everybody, and you know, we don't know what we're going to do W-Fund next, but we'll let you know when we do. Okay, thanks so much.